Hey, it's Dave Williamson from the Toy Car Collector. I am at the Hot Wheels convention in Los Angeles, California. I just got here and I'm in my room taking a look at my luggage. I wanted to show you what does it take to get to a Hot Wheels convention? What do you need to bring when you go to a Hot Wheels convention? Well, the simple answer is just bring yourself and a whole bunch of money to spend or uh, uh, or you'll be very disappointed because there's so many things to buy. It's just a great time. Now, take a look at my luggage. I'll show you everything I brought. Here it is. All right, turn it around here. I brought the carry-on. I brought this box. Turns out it was cheaper to check this box than to mail it. I brought this briefcase, especially prepared just for Hot Wheels. And I brought my rolling travel bag, which was checked. Now I flew Alaska Airlines, so I got one free bag and only had to pay $25 to get that box here. All right, so you wanna take a look and see what's inside some of these boxes, it's crazy. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is I don't wanna trash up the bed here because they're so pretty and white. So I'm gonna lay a towel down on the bed Let's not get our dirty luggage up on this nice bed. Besides this, my roommate's gonna be sleeping here. But let's take a look here at my briefcase. Now this briefcase I found at a, I found this at a thrift store years ago, years ago. It looked really cool to me. It has an aluminum frame all around it. It's very old. I think it's 60s style, maybe 70s. I tore out the inside so it'd become one big square box inside. I can put three rows, let's see, I put some papers in here. I can put three rows of Hot Wheels in these little things here, about 90 cars all together. This time I decided to bring blister packs, especially the uh, white applying color blister packs. So I put those on the side over here and then I filled the rest of this up with cars. As you can see, I have quite a variety. I've got some red lines. I've got some Aurora cigar boxes. I bought some black walls. I bought a big mixture this year because you know if you don't have a big mixture of cars it's going to be hard to make sales on a regular basis when you're sitting here and and uh, you don't want to be sitting here and not making sales so that's that's what's in there that's a pretty good supply of stuff now let me get the next box let me show you the brief or the uh the suitcase now this is my roller bag this is crazy this thing is heavier than crap i sometimes i weigh this thing and it's about 42 pounds but you know, you put enough Hot Wheels in there, it gets heavy. Well, there's some things you gotta have when you travel. You gotta have your noise canceling headphones. Then you gotta have your laptop because you wanna probably buy some stuff on eBay and keep in touch with everybody by email. I got the nice carry case so I can carry it out to the lobby. This comes in real handy, a nice ham sandwich so you don't have to chase after something to eat when you first get here and you wanna fix up your room. I got a couple of pairs of glasses, a couple of extra reading glasses so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Got my driving glasses in case I have to drive somewhere. Oh, gotta have some cake. Wife made me some cake. All right, then you gotta have your pens. You gotta have your foot lotion. Let's see, what's in here? Oh, we got my camera. Ah, that's not interesting. You got your favorite shirt. You always put that in your carry-on. You don't wanna lose it. Oh, look at that. I got, a, I got a herpes car. That's in there. My mouse. Don't forget your charger for your computer. You're gonna be lost without that. All right, let's get some receipts out of here. Now, what do we got in these boxes? Let's see, this one right here. Oh, this one's blister packs. Yes, yes, I like these boxes for traveling. It's a Sizzler's race case. Really enjoy using these for traveling. You can stick them all in here. I got about, uh, I had about a dozen blister packs in there. Don't forget your vitamins and your medicine if you're older like me. A couple of black walls that just happened to be sitting on the desk at the time. Put those in there. Here's a 24 car case. Let's see what I filled that up with. Oh, I filled that up with incredible Hulk vans. These things have been sitting around my house forever and I know people here will like to buy them. They won't want to pay too much, but they'll like to buy them. And there's some more black wall stuff in there. Some of the, some economy red lines. More superheroes in the bottom. Got my camera flash, camera tripod adapter. I got my microphone for doing videos with the camera. I got the Sony RX100 camera for high definition video plastic baggies to wrap stuff up in if you need it you got your power cable you got your earpiece so you can talk on the phone and still hear it your charger all right here's a case let's see what's in this case I don't feel like anything's in this oh more blister packs this case is kind of neat it's a red 73 case with that uh, this comes in a bunch of different colors but it's black on the inside it's the only one I've ever seen that was black vinyl on the inside and we got some blister packs in there I decided to throw in at the last minute you got a red pen, red pen, black pen, giant sharpie, medium sharpie, memory card adapter. Oh, another case. Let's see what's in here. Oh, look at that. Johnny Lightnings. Hey, why not have a variety? That's what I say. You got to have a variety if you want to sell some stuff around here. All right. And then you got this giant matchbox case. That holds 72 cars. And I've stuffed this with car basically really 
Did I stuff this with cheap? I think I stuffed this with cheap red lines. If I'm not mistaken, I wanted to blow out my $20 red lines. This is a good place to do that. So I put them in the trifold. And, oh, nope, there's some, uh, I take that back. Here's some more of uh, the superheroes. And we got a couple of uh, scorchers in there. Oh, and then we got the super cheap Hot Wheels in there. So I kept all the best ones in my briefcase. And then I put the little more cheaper stuff in here because this always stands a chance of having to get checked. And a purple pen and a couple of more red lines I threw in at the last minute. On the outside of the bag, we've got our paperwork, some display pieces, signs. And what's in here? We got the checklist, tickets, and my room list, my clothes sign. Hey, just in case I close and go out to buy some stuff. And you got some snacks in here. Okay, so we kind of covered that already. All right, now we got the big suitcase. Now we can make a real huge mess in this room. We'll just drop that down like that. No sense keeping this room clean because it's going to be a mess for almost a week. All right, let's look in here. Well, you got to bring some clothes, sweatshirt in case you go outside at night, a couple t-shirts, tennis shoes. Ah, look at this. Oh, you got a water glass if you want to drink water, foot powder, scissors. Look at that. Got a couple of headphones, some snacks, some shorts, deodorant. Whoops, that fell down. Look at this. This is a, like a portable carry case for cars. I had an extra one of these at home, so I thought I'd throw that in there and get rid of it. Uh, let's see, we've got the extra Wi-Fi adapter in case the Wi-Fi doesn't come in real, real sharp and clear. All right, I've got a box. This particular race case in here, it's just got, I think, my work stuff. Yeah, it's just got all the kind of things you might need. Your flashlight, list of things you want to buy, extra phone case in red, since you're at the red line, since you're a red line collector. And notebook, checks, checks. Check and check. Down in here, I got some catalogs, a hat, paperwork. I got some more vitamin C to keep you going. You got your clothes all the way around. Actually, in the bottom of this case is a display case. In this box here, what did I put in there? Let's see. I've forgotten what I put in there. These handy boxes. These things are just handy. all get outs. Ah, more, more supplies. Lots of supplies. Here's a handy one. Aha, double light bulb thing so you can brighten up the room. Yeah, that, nah, I never brought one of those before, but I think that's gonna be handy. Brought some light bulbs in here somewhere. Swimsuit, jam box, tripod. Got the tripod, got the plastic stuff. Another box, I got an order that somebody ordered that they didn't pay for yet, so I couldn't send it before I left home. Got a whole stack of catalogs, and this down in the bottom here is a display case, believe it or not. It's the wood one that you've seen in another, another thing, but it doesn't take up a whole lot of room because you can literally open it up, and then you can just fill it full of stuff. So it's amazing how much goes in here, and then it's amazing how little really is actually in here. And then, oh, I got my foam tape so the cars won't slide around in the display case. And then I got my extension cord for that uh, radio wave. I put my shaver in my tennis shoe, of course, keep it safe. Bring you some comfortable shoes because you're going to be doing a lot of walking when you're at the convention. Then at the last minute, you know, I was filling up a box. I've seen this before. Guys will fill up a box. A, um, I'm looking for a knife because I want to open up this box. People will uh, fill up uh, priority mail fixed rate boxes and then ship those to the convention. But I got a knife in here. So in this box here, I've got a giant box of all kinds of miscellaneous toys. Mostly stuff that's not too expensive. And then I added in snake and mongoose sets, two of those, and a bag of cookies. Yeah, that's what's in there. Yeah, that's the ticket. I got a bag of cookies in here. In this box, I've got extra light bulbs, miniature tripod, post-it notes. Got the, uh, look at that, three by five cards. Got the notebook for writing down all the rooms you go into if you don't want to use the big one. The phone case, got your sale signs in case you want to have something on sale right there. Everybody does want things. Ooh, got something nice in there. I think that's an ice blue woody. It's a pretty cool car. And down in this box, I still, oh, I got a, look at that, I got a slot car in there. I think I got more slot cars in here somewhere. Yeah, I brought all my slot cars that I have left because I haven't been getting any sales for slot cars lately. And so I brought those. And somewhere in here, there's gotta be a knife to get this darn case open, but you can't carry knives on the plane anymore. And uh, I don't know how you're supposed to defend yourself against tech if you can't have your own knife. Oh, magnifying glass, that's handy. You know, at night, you gotta see this stuff, right? 
you really got to see it. And uh, should I have that? More clothes. Oh, I got the monopod. Hey, that's like a tripod, except there's only one leg. Don't try to set the camera up on that and walk away. I can tell you that is not a good idea. Can't find the knife, so I'm gonna go about finding that knife, and then we'll take a look inside this box and see what's in there. Okay, I found a pair of scissors. I couldn't find a knife. I think this will open this box. But I've gotta be careful of cutting myself wide open. That would suck. I've never known too many people that got hurt at a convention, although somebody did stamp their foot on a Hot Wheels car to try to smash it one time and end up smashing the hell out of their ankle. Not a super good move. Nobody's jumped out of a window as far as I know. Well, let's see what's in here. It's like a box opening. It is a box and it is opening. All right. Oh, look at that. Hey, cookies. Mmm, mmm, mmm. We live on cookies and cake this week. Blister pack protectors. Blister pack protectors. And then these two boxes are just chock full of cars like you wouldn't believe. I guess you want to take a look, huh? Let's take a look. All right. Oh, that was a scramble. Sometimes you should just hit the pause button. But you don't. Let me open up this box. I'll be right back. Wow, now this is a jumble of stuff. Oh, there's a candy bar in there. Oh, we call them power bars nowadays. There's a Budgie, the Xyamex, Hot Wheels, Xyamex, Budgie, same one. Hot Wheels, Gorgi, MP Fiat. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. This is one of my favorites, Corgi Jr. That's pretty cool. Look at that. More Corgi. What's this? This one's a play art that's crazy there's a whole bunch of crazy ass stuff in here mp ford has all kinds of stuff in here i just wanted to have a big variety of stuff so there's that box then there's this box over here and then we got mongoose and snake wild wheelie sets one has nothing in it except the box just the box well there it is turn that puppy over so you can see it look at that that's nice that's a nice set i got another one down here this one is empty. Now I put something in it actually. But it's not what goes in it, I'm pretty sure. It's just some stuff I stuffed in there, some track and stuff, just so I could have it here. And now as you can see, now take a look at my room. I really trashed the place. This is more or less what a Hot Wheels room will look like. Now I gotta do all the arranging and put the stuff out, get everything out of these boxes, and I'll be back to show you more. Thanks for hanging in there. Dave Williamson from the Toy Car Collector. Appreciate you stopping by.